Hi, Bradley. Hi. How are you? <laughs> Good, and you? <laughs> Very well. Uh, please tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. So my name is Bradley Wade. I'm the Regional Director for St. George's University School of Medicine in Grenada in the West Indies. And um, I am based in partly in Cape Town and partly in Toronto in Canada. Uh, thank you for being here today at our Global Education Study Abroad Expo. It's great to be here. Tell us a little bit about your relationship with Global Education. When did St. George's and Global Education partner? SGU and Global Education have been partnering for a number of years now, um, before my time even with the university, and it's been a, a fantastic relationship, extremely friendly, warm and professional. So we love the fact that Global Education gives us access to qualified potential medical students that are seeking to, to get a medical degree uh, abroad and also exposure to some really top schools in South Africa as well as school counsellors so that we can help them understand the journey to becoming a doctor overseas in the US or the UK. So that relationship has been going on for a number of years, continues um, wonderfully <laughs> and um, yeah, we thoroughly enjoy working with Global Education. And we thoroughly enjoy working with St George's University as well, Great. so thank you for, thank you for that. Um, please tell us a little bit more about the medical program that St George's University offers. So we offer a, a US curriculum, it's a Doctor of Medicine degree. Um, in South Africa it's known as the MBCHB, in the UK the MBBS, but in the US it's the MD, Doctor of Medicine degree. And typically um, a student would require a four-year bachelor's degree to gain entry into a US medical school, but we have a preclinical pathway. So students can come straight out of a high school um, curriculum, either IGCSE, matric, A-levels or IB diploma, onto a preclinical program and then straight into a four-year uh, degree. So a student out of high school um, could do what would normally take them eight years to get a US Doctor of Medicine degree. They could do it in um, five to seven years. We also accept students straight out of a, a Bachelor Degree of Science and then they would go straight into a four-year program. And our degree, although it's a US curriculum, we do have a campus um, in Grenada that takes them uh, on a journey to the United States. But we also have a campus in the UK in partnership with Northumbria University, so for those students who want to become a doctor in the UK. So it's mainly a US and a UK route to becoming a doctor. So SGU offers one of the best programs in the world for any student wanting to go and practice as a medical doctor in the US or in Canada. What is the experience like for students when they're studying in the West Indies in the Caribbean? It, it's a unique experience. Um, it's a beautiful island in the Caribbean, but more than beautiful, um, it's actually a state-of-the-art facility, a large medical university. So most um, medical schools in the world are a small faculty within a large university, and of course there's limited places, so it's highly competitive. We, on the other hand, have a very large um, facility in Grenada, so we can take on as many students as qualify for the program, which gives students uh, options when they've run out of options um, around the world. Um, but we're fast becoming a first choice university uh, for medicine because of the fact that we help students gain their residency positions after they graduate in order to specialize. Um, so we've got a fantastic track record of um, placing students into residency positions in United States hospitals and in UK hospitals as well. As a university partner, how does the Study Abroad Expo help you and help Global in finding students which are best suited for the course or potentially share information to students who don't really know much about studying medicine? particularly in North America. Students these days when they're looking for um, universities abroad typically they will start online and that's a minefield of uh, information, misinformation <laughs> and p perhaps too much information sometimes. So we find that global education um, helps guide the students and try to identify exactly what it is they want to study. Uh, they might have a destination preference or they might not. Um, but typically when it comes to students who are looking to study medicine, they're often disheartened by the fact that there aren't enough medical seats for all the applicants. And so their hopes are dashed and they're often guided to um, uh, away from becoming a doctor. Global education helps guide those students towards the options of which St George's University is, is a fantastic option for them. And what's a piece of information that you'd like to leave students with 
maybe a piece of misinformation that's been shared too widely on the internet that you'd like to, uh, you know, set right? First and foremost, particularly for South Africans, um, often students are uh, told that they're not required to take uh, life sciences or biology as a subject in high school to gain entry into a medical school. And that's because some medical schools in South Africa don't have that requirement. Um, but because it's so competitive to get into medical school in South Africa, uh, if they look abroad, they're going to need life sciences and they've been counseled otherwise. Um, it's very strange for us as a medical university that you know, students are advised they don't need to do biology because that's basically all you're doing is biology all the time. <laughs> so I think working with global education, we're trying to get into schools, get in front of students and school counsellors at a young age and educate them about how they need to prepare for a potential future in medicine, whether it's locally or abroad. Uh, and do students need to write any medical admissions exams before going to St. George's University? So not with us, and that's because you're not competing for a limited number of places against other students. So we don't just look at academics and scores, like for example in the med medical college entrance exams. Uh, we take a bit more of a holistic view of um, a student's application. So no MCAT or UCAT scores are required. It's your academics in your last um, secondary or tertiary education that we look at plus um, a comprehensive interview that you've got to pass um, and, um, and, and we'll assess each case uh, individually on its merit um, and if you uh, meet the criteria, if you pass the interview, we've got a, a space for you. Great, thank you Bradley, thanks for being here today. It's a, been an absolute pleasure, thank you.